very rainy day in the hostel. Very wet. I've done most of the hiking that I can do. So today, I think I'm just gonna literally edit videos and maybe go climbing later. Maybe get some lunch or something. I'm not entirely sure. So my headphones are broken and I'm looking for a tiny little screw that just goes into this thing, but from the other side. And I've been looking all around here for about an hour because you have no idea what a flight or a coach is like without noise cancelling headphones. I love my music. <laughs> so, I don't know. It could be anywhere, it's such a small thing. I might have to go and find some super glue. If I could just super glue it in, that would probably save it, at least until I get home and I can get some new ones. The only hope is to see if there's super glue in reception. If I can find super glue, I can fix the headphones. But what are the chances? Anyway, I'm also going to go out for the day, I think. Although the weather's not meant to be great, I'd rather go for a walk than sit in the hostel. Plus, the thunderstorm's not really there anymore, so. What's the worst that can happen when I get a bit wet? It's my second last day. No, nope, no super glue in reception. However, I've been told that in town they have super glue. So, go walk to town, get some super glue, fix these because uh, I, I do need my music. I do love my music. And then I think I'm gonna possibly get the bus somewhere, go for a walk. I mean, it's supposed to be a thunderstorm, but the weather's. The weather isn't terrible. You know, it could be worse. So that fiasco with the headphones, I was looking around the hostel for that little screw. And it made me miss the coach. I was gonna get the coach today to Corvaya, which is um, an Italian ski town the other side of Mont Blanc, which is literally just sort of I think down there and then across. But I got distracted with these headphones and trying to find that screw, so I missed it. The next coach isn't until 4 4 p.m. and it would have to I'd have to I'd only be there an hour or two. So tomorrow I'm gonna get the coach to uh, this Italian ski town and we're gonna explore that. Because I think I've pretty much completed the Chamonix area just for now. You know, I don't want to do too many hikes in this weather, but I could probably explore an Italian ski town. So ci vediamo domani. Also some guy in the hostel was uh, was coughing pretty badly and I thought nothing of it and then I started coughing and I started having like this weird uh, chest chest and cough pain last night and I'm convinced that I'm not gonna get ill so fingers crossed if I just if I just have a, a strong mindset here and just convince myself that I'm not gonna get ill then hopefully this cough will go away <laughs> that's the plan anyway I don't want to get ill although I'm if I do get ill, I'm, I'm happy that it's been on the last few days where the weather's not been so good. There's a lot of uh, caravans here. I suppose it's a nice place to camp. Okay, let's just go into town, fix the headphones, maybe get some more food. I didn't eat, I didn't eat anything yesterday. I, had, I think I had one meal yesterday. And then, uh, do you know what? There are people that will disagree with me on this and think I'm crazy. But I genuinely think if I if I didn't have to eat to survive, you know, biologically, I don't think I would eat because it uses up so much time and money and resources and then you feel tired afterwards, you feel all lethargic and sluggish. And uh, although it tastes good, I don't think I would eat unless I absolutely had to. Oh, it looks like I'm stuck, can't go that way. All right, almost at the shop. I'm hoping they're gonna have the super glue. But if not, I'm just going to continue my walk and probably don't know whether to go that way to Le Pelerin or that way to uh, whatever's that way. Well, it looks like it might start to rain soon. Let's get on with this super glue finding because I don't really have anything waterproof. Alright, looks like this is the place. Let's see. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, 
Nice and easy. Now I've just got to find somewhere to, I'm going to find somewhere to eat and sit down while I set the super glue. I don't know how long it's going to take to set. But all it's got to do is hold that screw in place. So I'm hoping this will be the right thing. Now where can I sit that I know will have Wi-Fi? Oh, what's that? Golden arches I see here. I wonder if they're open on time though. I'm glad I found the super glue though. I even asked for it in French, rendez-vous de la super col, which is the first French I've spoken since high school. <laughs> right, let's see if they're even open. Not yet. Well, I guess we sit here and wait, and then I'm going to use the Wi-Fi. So I think I'm going to go somewhere other than McDonald's, because I want to get some decent coffee and some breakfast. Some additional breakfast to the one that I've already had. <laughs> but I don't really want to get too cold outside. Let's sit somewhere here. I think we'll sit somewhere outside so the glue might dry faster outside. Let's sit here. Hello. La carte? Uh, right. Right. Merci. Right. Let's see what's here. Now we just wait. Hopefully that will hold. Mm. Meanwhile, I'll get an espresso, leave that to dry in the wind. These headphones are actually really uh, improvised. Look, I've got duct tape holding this bit on because that snapped off. I've got super glue holding that bit on. Nightmare, but they're a really good pair of headphones and they're only 30 quid and the noise cancelling. So I don't really want to get a new one just until these completely pack up. So the plan is to have a quick coffee here or some chips and coffee or whatever I ordered and then decide where to go next. Oh, by the way, leave a comment letting me know where you think I should go next. Not just in terms of in Chamonix, but which country, because I'm on a mission to explore pretty much everywhere and document it all on this travel channel. I do have an Instagram as well, by the way. It's called Transcend Limits. You can find it in the description or just search it or something. Well, I fixed the headphones, got the super glue, and now I'm back at the hostel because it's raining. And it's the sort of rain that makes you really wet. You know, it's a really annoying sort of fine, misty kind. And I've just realised that my coat is definitely not waterproof. I was sold this under false pretenses, thinking it would actually protect me from the rain, but it doesn't. So I've got waterproof trousers, but no, no raincoat. So what I've learnt from this is that I need to get a better coat. And I don't want to get one here because I'll probably end up paying 200 euros for it in Chamonix. However, when I get home, I'm going to do an Amazon order, get some more appropriate travel gear. I think that was a thunderstorm noise. It sounded like thunder. So I'm going to get some more travel gear, a coat for example, and then book my trip to Italy. I'm going to go and do some Italian ski towns as well. Also, I've been very lucky that this entire dorm has pretty much been quiet. I think it's just me and one other person at the moment. So that is it for now, signing off. Leave a comment and subscribe.